Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today I thought I'd show you my meal planning process, how I save some money, and get you guys some free printables for planning your own weekly meals. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a screen recording also during this because I do most of my planning on Pinterest, my notes, and also this editable document that I have that's available on my website. I will drop the link where you can get this printable down below, and then also you'll see me using it in the actual screen recording. First things first, this is what the meal planning document looks like. You'll see I can zoom in. All these blue boxes are editable. That's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I don't divide them up by breakfast, lunch, and dinner because normally I only plan our dinners. Lunch is usually leftovers and breakfast is cereal or bagels or fruit or something like that. I know this week that we're going to Isaac's family for dinner. So I'm just gonna block that off and say we're not having a meal then. Let's see about Sunday. Another thing that I like to use is I have a pantry list of items that I know I already have in like the fridge and the freezer and the pantry and everything like that. I'll show you that a little bit later because I can't edit this and then also open up the other document because it uses the same app. Anyways, back to the planning. I know I have enough of some of the ingredients left to make chicken taquitos again. This one uses cream cheese, which I have that already. It uses green salsa. It has some spices that I already have. The only thing that I need to buy is actually the chicken because I also have the tortillas for it. For some reason, I ordered a lot of tortillas last week. I don't know why. I think I accidentally double ordered what I actually needed. So on Monday, I'm gonna end up doing these enchiladas that are super easy to do. I have been freezing a lot of these, but I think I have like four or five meals of enchiladas now. So I might not freeze them and I might just make like the whole batch this time. One batch makes eight enchiladas and I've been freezing four and eating four. But I think now I'm gonna actually just eat the enchiladas. I'm running out of space in my freezer also. We just have a regular side-by-side -side freezer. I'll show you a little insert of this in a little bit when I show you what I have on the fridge to plan this out. Um, but it's pretty full, so. <laughs> Can't make that many more freezer meals. I'm actually gonna push our lasagna meal. I had planned that for this week, but we didn't end up making it, so I'm gonna push that to Tuesday for next week. And Wednesday, what was I gonna do? There was one other meal that I had this week that I forgot to do. Oh, it was uh, Parmesan chicken. I have chicken, well, actually, I could just use that chicken for taquitos. Now nah, we'll keep it as Parmesan chicken, we'll get more chicken. Chicken's pretty cheap to get, especially if you buy it somewhere like Costco. So I don't mind getting more chicken for that. Um, actually, we're gonna put the Parmesan chicken on this day. And then we're gonna put leftovers on this day. And then Friday, let's see what I want to do for Friday. Friday, I think I'll do meatloaf actually because this one's super easy. All it needs is one pound of ground beef. We need a box of stove top stuffing. And then we have eggs for that. So actually we just need those two things. It also uses ketchup, but again, I already have a bunch of ketchup, which I'll show you. Parmesan chicken, all we need is, we need chicken breasts. Oh, I can't spell. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna need two pounds of chicken breasts. Uh, leftovers, lasagna. Lasagna, we have all the stuff already. Enchiladas, the only thing I need for this is actually gonna be the red enchilada sauce. And that's gonna be, 20 ounces. Usually I order the little um, 
10 ounce jars, which makes it really nice because then you can use one 10 ounce jar, just toss it in the enchilada, and the other 10 ounce jar, you can put it underneath the enchiladas and on top. So it makes dividing things up really easy. And then chicken taquitos. I already have the chicken over there, so I'm just gonna leave that because I have two chicken breasts already. And I think that's all that I need, honestly. So, shopping list, oh. Going down here to the shopping list. Um, two 10 ounce, 10 ounce cans enchilada sauce. And then we need two pounds of chicken breasts, uh, one pound of ground beef. Actually, I'm gonna make that two pounds of ground beef because I can still fit um, I can still fit a meatloaf pan in our freezer, so we'll work on that. And then we'll do the stovetop stuffing. We need two boxes of those then. I should also probably get eggs. Two boxes, stuffing, eggs. We only have six eggs left, so if I was only going to make one meal of that, then we would have enough, but um, plus, I mean, we might have some for breakfasts and stuff. Oh, not 47. <laughs> um, I already put the enchilada sauce on our meal. Shopping list. All right. And then we'll save it. And then I'm gonna show you, where is my pantry list? Here it is. So this is the pantry list that I have. You can see here I have eggs, six eggs. I know I have ketchup. I have like one of those Costco things. There is, where is it? Oh, I took it off of here because I knew I was gonna use it. I know I have cream cheese and the green, um, and the green salsa. You can see I have some blank spaces from where I've deleted things. And then I actually need to update and like put on all the expiration dates for the pantry section. But I'll get doing that later. I ran out of energy earlier this morning, so I didn't end up doing it. And then you can see here, I have all the meals written out on this meal planner I have on the fridge. I didn't put the shopping list on here because I didn't need to. This is more like if my husband wants to add anything to our list. And then I just have a magnetic erase, uh, pen and eraser combo that lives on it next to it. So it's pretty, pretty handy. All right, so that is how I meal plan things. If I'm looking for something new, usually I'll go to Pinterest, but a couple tips when you're looking at Pinterest for recipes. You wanna make sure the recipes don't have a ton of ingredients because otherwise you're gonna buy things that you're only gonna use once and then it's gonna expire before you even touch like the rest of it. Looking at what you have in your pantry first is the best starting place in all honesty, because then like how I had three of the four ingredients and spices for the chicken taquitos. I can just make that again and I basically don't have to add anything to my grocery budget this week. Another thing that's super important is making sure you shop any sales. I have a trash email that I sign up for like all of the sales and promos. And then I use a service called Unroll Me to condense it into one email that I read in the morning. Then I can see like, oh, Fry's has a sale on this, Walmart has a sale on that. Honestly, right now we only order from Walmart Pickup just because I don't have energy being eight months pregnant and I'm not taking my meds. But other than that, you can shop around to find the best deals. And then I also use cashback apps like Ibotta and Ebates to save after I've purchased certain items. You can go ahead and check out my cashback apps for that video, so. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. I put out two videos a week, one vlog, one sit down like you just watched. So if you want content on mom life, staying at home, building a side hustle, and organizing your life, go ahead and drop a subscribe as well. Thanks for watching and have a great day.